Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast. And during this last week, we had this up and down roller coaster ride, nothing in the way of significant moisture to speak of across the state. And we've seen that warmer temperatures build in yesterday, and today we now have a front that's moving from the Dakotas southward and will impact the northern part of the state this morning and eventually this afternoon we'll start to see that move into the southern part of the state. This looks like to be the first in a line of clippers that will move through this region reinforcing the cold air so we are now looking at four to seven days above below normal temperature before we start to see a significant trend the other way to above normal temperatures. So let's take a look at the upper air models and see what we can expect as we go through this week. Here is your trough that is basically building into the region. Piece of energy shooting down the backside of this trough over our region will give us periodic chances of snow. We have a low pressure at the surface in Montana, one that's been depicted in southwestern Kansas, and another one down into central Texas. These will not contribute to the moisture, but this one sliding down will bring shattered light snow into the region for tonight, and that will spread southward tomorrow. And then in tomorrow, we get another reinforcing shot of energy moving into our region. High pressure with much colder air builds in. We have a series of surface lows, and this load in Texas will feed some moisture up into our region. And we are looking at the potential for accumulating snowfalls of one to two inches across much of the southern half of the state. And then as we go into Monday, the first piece of that energy moves out, but you see another piece of energy coming down the pipeline. That means another shot of precipitation potentially across the state. More in the line of scattered flurry activity. You can see this is predicted by the map. It doesn't look like accumulations will be significant, but we could see some isolated one-inch amounts. And then we see yet another system poised to come down the road on Tuesday. Surface low basically in Montana will slide toward the southeast, once again reinforcing the scattered light snow activity across the state with the most concentrated region across the northwestern portion of the state. And then as we get into Wednesday, we start to see signs that the ridge is going to try to build in, but we're going to have at least one more day of cool weather as another high pressure system comes in on the back side of this trough as it starts to make its way toward the east. And we will also see some scattered light snowfall across much of the Dakotas. Some of that may pressing into Nebraska. But as we get into Thursday, now we start to see the warm air even pushing closer, so we're going to see some rebound in western Nebraska. All that big surface high pressure system slips, slips to the east, and it looks like we're going to see a relaxation end of our temperatures. You can see that we're basically scattered uh, precipitation free across the region, and we'll see even a much warmer trend to build, to building this weekend, but we may get one reinforcing shot at cold air on Friday. That looks to be more impactful for the northeastern part of the state than the southern part of the state. And in terms of precipitation, most of the precipitation over the Great Lakes region. As we look at the 8 to 14 day forecast, we are looking for below normal temperatures, primarily because of this trough may move back and forth across our region. Most likely area for below normal temperatures will be extreme eastern Nebraska, with western Nebraska most likely to be well above normal as the ridge tries to build into our region. In terms of precipitation, this is a very scary picture here because we are looking at below normal precipitation from the west coast to the east coast, so we're not even seeing any activity coming into the western United States. And in terms of our snow pack that is in Colorado, this does not paint a very good news, at least for the next couple of weeks, for accumulating some decent snows in the mountains, and we are going to continue to fall farther behind. That increases our drought risk as we go into the spring. We'll talk more about that in later editions.